hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is karen guys today i'm harvesting cauliflower yes guys those cauliflower are ready to be harvested yes so i'm gonna harvest cauliflower and some few ingredients in the garden and i'm gonna go cook for you guys keep watching guys Guys, this is my purple cauliflower. The color have not yet show. Yes. Um, when it's like this, very tender and sweet. So, yes, so I'm going to harvest it just like that. And harvest some few things. Guys, things are getting ready in the garden. Everything is growing so fast. So fast. <laughs> Those um, um, cold weather crops. Some of them are getting ready so we're gonna be cooking a lot now <laughs> yes guys Guys, I just harvest some uh, green onions. Now I'm harvesting celery. My celery, they are still baby, but I'm going to harvest some of the leaves. Yeah, I'm also going to harvest some oregano. My oregano are doing so well. They are so, look at that. They are so fresh. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm also harvesting some uh, peas. My sugar snap peas are ready. They are growing so fast. They are producing a lot. So we're going to harvest some of that too. <laughs> Guys, this is my snack in the morning. In the morning, I come in the garden, I harvest my <laughs> peas, I just eat them there. Yep, I snack on them in the morning. At least I have something to eat in the garden right now. I can just go there and eat my sugar snap peas in the morning. Every time I'm walking in there, I go and harvest and eat. It's very sweet, guys. I'm done harvesting, now we're going to go cook. Guys, you know, every time you harvest something in your garden, you need to wash it. I don't spray nothing in my garden, but you always have to wash your stuff because they are sitting on open air. They are, there's dust, there's everything on the air. So we just have to wash our vegetables when we harvest them. So I'm just going to clean all my vegetables and, and get them ready before we start to cook, guys.
guys this is my first year of growing cauliflower and broccoli um even last year i grew the red cabbage yeah but this is my first time growing cauliflower and they, are, they did well guys they did well i told you guys the one i start from seeds they all died this one i bought them before planting them yeah so i succeeded my first time of trying and i did well with it guys <laughs> it did so well and it's not even done growing just imagine if i i let it be to to um like gain its color the purple color will get so big guys it did so well i'm so pleased with that guys right now i'm putting oil in my fry pan i'm cooking some fish yes um i already seasoned my fish i seasoned it with a uh, salt and some uh, uh chicken bouillon seasoning and i'm just gonna fry it right now the reason why i do not show you guys all those process is because i've done so much fish in my video if you guys want to watch more of my uh, fish uh, stew i'm gonna put the link below guys i'm using some of my homegrown tomato <laughs> these are some of my last cans of my tomato i just have few left i'm just praying that they will be until i start to harvest the one in my garden i'm just gonna blend this and just put it in my pot and boil it yes guys today we are not frying the tomato i'm gonna show you guys an easy way to make another type of stew guys easy way guys right now i'm just preparing my ingredients i'm going to use onions habanero pepper ginger garlic and i'm going to also add some celery in there and some green onions and i'm going to brown it then i'm going to chop the remaining onions and the yellow bear pepper those ones i'm not going to grind i'm just going to chop them and keep them aside My fish is ready. I'm going to flip it so it can um, cook the other side. My fish is ready, so I'm going to take it out and put it inside this pot, this blue pot. That is where I'm going to cook my fish. 
my stew. <laughs> Guys, I told you guys I'm not gonna fry this uh, stew that I'm cooking. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna um, take my tomato. You see my tomato? I'm, I was cooking it to reduce the water and some of the sour taste. Yes, I'm just gonna take the tomato and add it inside my fish. I told you guys I'm not frying anything. I'm, I'm gonna add the tomato, my blended spices, and all the remaining ingredients. Some salt, some chicken bouillon. And I'm going to add my oil in there and I, I'm going to add like two and a half cup of liquid. I will use those the water to raise my blender and pour it in there. Yes, guys. Guys, after I do that, I'm just going to um, cover my pot and we're going to cook this on low. Low, guys. Low. Because this cast iron pot I mentioned to you guys before, if you put it on high, it burns your food. So we're going to cook it on low for like 15 minutes. Right now, I'm putting my water on the fire. I want to like steam my broccoli and my uh, uh, peas, my snap peas. Yes. See? Cooking my stew on low, low guys. Don't put it on high. Let it cook for at least 15 minutes on low. Yes, yeah, so nothing will burn. Guys, our stew is looking so delicious. Look how delicious, fresh. Oh, guys, yummy. Right now my water is ready. I'm just gonna add my broccoli and my snap peas in there. And I'm gonna turn off my stove at the same time because I don't want it to cook a lot. I just want it to maintain the crunchiness and this, the crunchiness of the bro uh, the cauliflower. I keep saying broccoli, cauliflower and the snap peas. Yes, guys. I'm just gonna take it out, put the cover, remove it from that fire and then put the cover and let it sit for five to seven minutes. Then I'm just going to drain my water. Guys, our stew is ready. Oh my goodness. It's ready. It's time to dish. <laughs> Look how delicious. Simple way of cooking stew. Yes, you cook it and taste it. Let the sour taste go away, guys. Yes. 
taste it and it depends if you want to make it watery it's up to you but i like my stew dry yes guys so our stew is ready yeah Guys, I've boiled my rice. I mix the rice with the leaf of oregano and the celery leaves. Yes, I'm just going to put my rice and add my fish and then I add my uh, vegetable. Guys, you cannot beat that taste. I'm telling you the crunchiness, the freshness of those ingredients. Everything just tastes so good. Everything comes together and tastes so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you guys for spending some time with me please do not forget to subscribe hit the notification bell like this video if you're new here welcome to karen's garden if you are a returning subscriber thank you thank you for keep watching thank you guys so much see you next time bye bye